What up, everybody? It's your boy SGFL, man, and we are back with another video. You dig? Salute Chill Guru Beats. He's back. If y'all remember a few videos ago, we all checked out his beats, his Greek beat, Medusa. All right, it was Medusa. It was using like some Greek instruments, and he blended it real good into like some house music. So it's like high tempo and get you dancing, get you moving. Fantastic. All right, well, he came and gave us two more he wanted us to check out as a collective. We got Satrang and Garuda. All right, we're going to check out Garuda next. Up first, it's going to be Satrang. It's seven colors, the Indian drum and bass fusion. Uh, quickly, what it says from Satrang, hope I'm pronouncing it right, is that vibrant fusion that melds the classical Indian instruments such as the Santor, Santal, Harmonium, and Tampura. With temporary with contemporary bass and drum beats alongside a captivating jigalabandi of tabla rhymes i'm butchering this i apologize the instrumental piece is crafted to commemorate the festive of holy a uh, holy one of those is um at the i know why so i'm gonna say holy reflecting the myriad colors of music through this unique blend Sathring celebrates the rich heritage of indian musical tradition while embracing the energy of modern rhythms, creating a sonic palette as a diverse and vivid as holy itself. This is going to be special. I'm going to let you know this right now, man. I see his hashtag electronic, so it might be electronic beat. So without further ado, man, let's check out Satrang from Chill Guru Beats. I know that that string instrument I heard a lot. I've been hearing a lot on TikTok too. It's giving that festive vibe. Good in mission stuff. Mesh. It's real good at meshing stuff together. Real good. Man, he's good at fading that beat out too, and then letting it come back in slowly. I see that's like almost like a signature of his. It's pretty, pretty nice. Watch when it come back in. Mmm. The pluck in. Ah, oh, he's throwing it. He's throwing in a curveball to us. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, he's changed the whole speed up. <laughs> he slowly blended it all back in, man. Like, so you no lyrics needed, man. You gonna you gonna move your hair, bounce your shoulders. I don't know if he's plucking that way. <laughs> man, we going all over the place with this. This is tough. This is tough. I wish I could make beats, man. I swear I do. Break those horns back in. Well, it might be a sack. It's an organ, but it might be like an Indian bird. God, this makes me want to make beats, man, but I am not talented enough. I know you will give us a fade out. So he takes some instruments out. Come on, man. Satrain. Satrain from Mr. Chill Guru Beats, man. It's like it's it makes me want to make beats so badly, but I just know I'm just I don't have the patience um to it. I just know I got an ear for certain things and I can just hear. This is amazing. Like from all the like the Indian TikToks I've seen of like festives and like celebrations of the dancing, this is like a true like representation of their cultural music, modernized. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, with the drum, with the bass, uh, making it into like a beat that can actually be like you know uh, some vocals could be played on it uh, or laid to it. I should say so. 
my favorite part about what Guru does with these is that he always keeps that native sound to it. And basically, he lets the, the modern version just be an additive to it. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't take away from it. It doesn't over, like, you know, um, uh, what is it? it doesn't, like, complicate it. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't, like, take uh, a life of its own. It just basically lets the, it, it, it melds together. You know what I'm saying? They complement each other perfectly when he do these. So, like, he really got a talent. Like, you really got a talent for, like, keeping the natural and cultural sounds and instruments and blending it in with some modern drums, percussions, you no know, bass, basses, everything like that. I'm, hey, you know what I feel like from last time, man. Keep going, keep going. But next up, we're gonna check out Garuda. I heard we have Garuda, Garuda, Garuda. Either one works. All right, it's also from Shill Guru Beats. This is an Indo and Japanese fusion beat. And Garuda, the track offers a thoughtful blend of Indo-Japanese elements pairing the Guzang, and the sata in harmonious exploration of musical tradition. The Gazunga, Gazung, God, I'm pronouncing, I'm butchering them. I'm trying my best. All right. Introduce a soft, meditative quality that hints at Jap uh, Japan's serene landscapes, while the sitar has a touch of Indian melic, melodicism, melod melodism. So, my first time I've seen that word. It's uh, gentle twangs adding depth and warmth as the piece progresses. Traditional percussions contribute subtle rhymes. Yeah, for, uh, grand, uh, grounding the fusion in authenticity. Uh, these are thoughtfully layered with understated modern beats and bass. Uh, I always say bass or bass. It could be beats and bass, but beats and bass create a nuanced backdrop that respects the roots of both cultures. See, that's what I was saying with the last one with the Satan. He does it great. Uh, the fusion is modest yet meaningful, offering a simple, unassuming journey through the blends of sound that are both familiar and new. Man, see, this is my thing. I'm really like hyped for this one for like, cause I like Japanese lo-fi, you know, those kind of beats. You know what I'm saying? They had ancient Japanese sound, you know, they're from all like my anime that I listen to, to all the, like the, the Kung Fu movies. So, okay, it's like, I wonder how this is going to play out and see if it has that element to it. If so, this is going to be tough. So let's check out Garuda, Chill Guru Beats. Oh man, boy, I feel like it's the end of Naruto already. They could play an anime. It's just a start. Ooh. Subtle. You can never go wrong with like a like like a, a choir hum. I feel like I'm creeping. Like some ninjutsu. This is a hundred percent low five, man. Like this gives me low five vibe, like, perfectly. Ooh, that's that anime right there. From Zone of the Enders. Tell this give me that like thirty-two bit Sega Genesis stuff, man. It's like classic. God, man, it's, I'm telling you, it's gonna be, it's gonna be in the next song to hit y'all game for a stage. That's the boss fight. <laughs> it feel like it could be a compilation for like a martial arts movie. Like they're all training at the dojo, or they're running in the, in the weeds, like on some um, ninja gating. I like how he builds you up, get the high tempo, and then he immediately just drops you down. You know what I'm saying? Drop the tempo. It's like in my head, I'm picturing the whole scenario right now. I mean, the comments are talking to him. He's doing good. There it is. Back on the boss fight. He's back running through the treetops. Chase is on. The 
catching up slowly too. I'm saying, dude, this, this is such like a serene, like he, he was right when he said melodic. Soothing. Fade it out. Heavy on the rising sun. Garuda from Chill Guru Beats, man. Like, it's, I like, he takes you on a journey with this. I, right? 100%. Like, you can tell, it's almost like if you can put this song into a visual, what will suit this perfectly will be like a meetup. You know, it's like some ninjutsu, some ninjas, some martial arts stuff. Like when it's low tempo, it's that stare, stare down. You know, you see in all the movies, or you see in like the old ninja game games, two ninjas on one side, both of them, like lightning's flashing. It's as slow as like it's that tense moment when they draw these swords and then they start running side by side parallel to each other. That's when that high tempo goes up. And then it's like the chase is on. That high tempo is like they're chasing, or it could be the fight, it could be the crescendo where they're going back and forth, matching each other one for one, and then it drops you back down. Maybe some serious, somebody took a cut. Somebody's injured, somebody's hurt. And they, I mean, it, it's crazy how just the beat is, itself can get you to picture a whole scenario, man. That's a talent. That's a talent that gets people to actually like close your eyes and just hear what's going on. And in your head, you can visualize what this is actually saying to you. Like the music can have words, the music can paint pictures. And that's 100% painted. And that's the picture for me. Everybody could probably see something differently. But the picture that's painted for me was that. And it's nice. Like this is like a high tempo. I think I told him, but. I mean, these songs, these these beats, man, will fit perfectly and like like it gives me that, that old Sega Genesis 32 bit vibe. Those, those music, you know, what I'm saying for the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 to the Street of Rage, all that kind of stuff. This is that modern versions when the new ones came out, like four and the new Hedgehog, all that kind of stuff. These slide in perfectly to those stages. You know what I'm saying? This is that's, that's nice to have when you can get good quality music that you can like incorporate into like games or any type of scenario man you got you got some guru you you very talented like i'm not even gonna just lie and just tell you that you are you're talented i may i've, I've chalked this up into lo-fi like for me and lo-fi for me is like a chill type stuff this can play when i'm background editing videos where i'm just like doing just chilling where i'm like playing on my playstation portable or something like that and just want this vibe out had some ambient music this is that this is a hundred percent a lo-fi category for me you know what I mean? I maybe it's more higher tempo, but that slow down part, 100% low fat. Like I can just be, you can chop that up, crop it out, and put it on like and it's duplicated and just keep looping that, looping it and looping it. It's low fat and it's great. You know what I mean? And it works. I mean, and I wish I would if I was you, I would even like do that probably for each section where it's like, like a downtime when it's not up tempo and I will loop them all together and I will submit it to some low fat playlist, man. I guarantee they get accepted. So Keep going, man. I'm, I'm a fan of your work. Um, I love instrumentals. I always have, always will. It's just something about it. I just like, you know, getting a picture for what the music is trying to say. And, you know, that's what I got from it. So keep going up, chill. We appreciate you on this channel. We can't wait to see more. Or I should say hear more. You know what I mean? So we're going to most definitely be tapping in with you and seeing as you grow on your journey, you know what I'm saying, as you continue to elevate and progress in your, uh, in your skill. So appreciate you. Uh, let me know in the comments below, man, if how you how you rocking with the beats, man. And, you know, if you get a chance, check out Mr. Chill Guru Beats SoundCloud. It's in LinkedIn description. He got a plethora of stuff to go through, and I'm sure you would not be disappointed. As always, man, until next time, and it will be soon. It's your boy, SGFL. Louisville, stand up. We're in the building. Yerp.